Hello YouTube's Krosama, and here we have today from the Master Grade Build Divers line is the Gundam H2 Magnum. Boy oh boy am I excited. I know a lot of people have been excited for uh, the, the Gundam Dynamis. You know, rightfully so. I was very, actually very excited as well. But this is the mobile suit and this is the grade I've been super hyped for. The Master Grade H2 Magnum. So, what makes me so hype about it? Because it you know, the base kit is the Gundam H2. Uh, I love the H2. I love the high grade version of it. I love the master grade version of it. And then the Magnum just kind of makes it super more intimidating, in my opinion. Uh, and the high grade that you see right here, you know, a re little revolving over there in the corner, I think it is a fantastic high grade line. Probably the best in the entire Build Diver series, if you ask me personally. But regardless, I'm just going to unbox this kit. I'm going to build it. And I'm going to review it on its own merit and not really try and use my own bias and love for the age line uh, to kind of overshadow the, you know, I already know there's going to be some problems with the legs. Uh, but if there isn't, hey, cool. But if there is, you know, I'm definitely going to be as truthful as I can. So let's go ahead and move on. And if you're trying to get this kit or any of the kits for that matter, you can definitely go to NewTypeHQ.com, use promo code CROSAMA so that way you can get 10% off. But let's go ahead and get on to the review. So take a look in the background first. Uh, you do see the GM3 Beam Master. You're gonna have that little Kapool, which I, I really don't like to be honest. Uh, then you're also gonna have the Build Diver and looking over here in the far left hand corner, uh, you can actually see the Red Beret. So that's pretty cool. And then the Big Zam, he's fighting right there. Uh, but none of this actually means that these kits are gonna come out as Master Grades. Um, I know a lot of people have been kind of talking about the Curios recently, but you know what, it's just background. A lot of kits, and Master Grades for that matter, did have these type of backgrounds where they shown a kit that we thought was going to get a Master Grade treatment, and it never happened. So, I wouldn't get your hopes up. Now, regardless, the actual illustration is super beautiful. Um, this is why I actually keep a lot of my Master Grade boxes, because I just, I love the looks of most of them, and this is no exception. This kit was released in March 2019. And the retail price is going to be 5,500 yen, uh, but you know, hey, over here in Japan, going to get a little bit cheaper. So looking on the side of the box, you're going to see that the head is going to be recreated, and it's going to have a little sharp point. And you're also going to see that the cockpit can open and close, and as well, you're going to get a Kujo figure. And a beautiful front and rear shot. Now the Phoenix mode is where it's at. This is such a cool transformation. Uh, now I do like the H2 transformation as it is, but boy oh boy this is so beautiful. You're going to have those beam Vulcans right underneath the shoulders. And here you're going to have the Hyper Dodge Rifle Magnum. And here you can see that the shoulders actually have a new frame. I did not know that until I actually just started looking at the box. Uh, but that's actually pretty cool. So, and the new joints have adapted a locking mechanism, which allows for a stable range of articulation in MS mode. So, what that means is that this thing is going to be Bala. And of course, I'm going to do a comparison with the original Master Grade H2 Gundam. And then you got these F funnels that are looking super clean. And you're going to have the Beam Sabers, which are pretty much going to be the exact same as the H2 Gundam. Uh, no surprise there, but you're also going to have the Shigeru Shield, which is going to look super, super damn cool. And here we are with the hand parts looking all nice and clean. So once again, these are my favorite types of hands. And of course, we're going to have some markings, which are more than likely going to be stickers. And the first set of runners we're going to take a look at is going to be the ones from the original Gundam Age 2. Uh, but this is going to be runner A, molded in a very nice looking purple. Um, overall, this is a very nice looking kit still. Lots of great panel lines that you can see scribed uh, right inside there. So if you are the kind of person that wants to do some panel lining, uh, you are going to have probably a really good time because I'm seeing it in quite different places. Uh, but yeah, regardless, this is looking good. You got the front little cockpit part right over there uh, and just some more little parts for like the uh, the shoulders and everything. But yeah, hey, regardless, looks good. Hey, we're going to have Runner J, which is going to be molded in all gray. Uh, so obviously this is going to be for the Hypo, Hyper Dodge Rifle Magnum. And Runner K is going to be another all gray runner. Uh, this is just going to be some inner frame stuff. 
and on to runner f so runner f is going to be more inner frame uh not really sure how much of this is actually going to be carried over and used i'm seeing some shoulder parts uh i believe right here or actually i'm thinking right here so these are going to be the shoulder parts uh that are more likely going to get replaced this looks like it's going to be the waist so i think that might get replaced as well uh but we'll definitely see when we move on to the uh the actual new runners and you are going to get two runner G parts. Uh, this is once again going to be some of that gray just for the inner frame and such. Uh, nothing really too spectacular. It's going to be a lot for the joints. I'm seeing parts uh, for the shoulders. You got parts for the little knees right there or the thighs. Um, that's pretty much about it. And next is going to be runner E, so this is going to be a lot of your white parts. Um, I'm, I'm definitely foreseeing a lot of this not being used. You might use uh, some of these shield parts right here. Uh, probably going to be for the uh, the hands as well. Uh, but I'm seeing like maybe this is not going to be used. Obviously, you're not going to use the pilots. Um, not really too sure about everything else. It's kind of like a hit or miss. This may be used, uh, but I don't really know about the side face. I think that's actually a new design as well. But you are going to have Asamu right here. So if you want to paint that pilot, uh, you more, I mean, you're more welcome to, but unfortunately, he's not going to be canon to this particular mobile suit. And here we have two runner eyes. So runner eye is going to be more of the white armor, and that's going to be riddled all over the body for the, mostly the legs. Uh, this is going to be parts of the arm. You got the side skirts right here. So pretty much a lot of stuff that I do believe is going to get carried over, but we'll definitely see. And here we have runner B, which is going to be a nice orange. Uh, so this is definitely going to be utilized for the kit. And runner C is going to be a lot of yellow. And lastly, for the old parts, you are going to have runner D. Uh, this is just going to be a lot of clear green, so you got parts that's going to be for the head. Uh, looks like it's just a lot for the head, and you're going to have the H symbol right there. Uh, but I'm pretty sure all this is going to be utilized. Ah, so now we're finally getting to the new parts. So this is runner L1, and L1 looks pretty decent. And you're going to have the stuff for the uh, hyper dodge rifle right here, more hyper dodge rifle. Uh, this is going to be stuff for the actual V-fin and the face plate. Uh, so that's looking pretty good. And just more stuff going all around here, just riddled, riddled, riddled. Um, I'm not really too sure what... Oh, this is going to be for the, um, the funnels. So got funnel parts right here, more funnel parts. This might be for the shoulder or the leg. I think I think actually this is the uh, shoulder part. So uh, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's uh, parts for the shoulder. But regardless, uh, the nice purple looks pretty good. So definitely can't wait to see it when it's completed. And then we're going to have another L1 part, but we're also going to have runner L3. That's going to be a little attachment right down here. Uh, so this is just pretty much going to be some extra little parts. And then, you know, you got more stuff for the actual funnels. And that's pretty much it for most of the armor. And here we're going to have runner M1, M2. So this one just being a smaller portion. So yeah, here's going to be some of that white armor for the leg so definitely not gonna be carrying over from the original uh you got more parts for the hyper dodge right actually sorry you got parts for the shield right here and then you're gonna have a uh, good old champion right there the pilot which i am gonna paint i'm gonna try my best uh to actually go ahead and paint another figure pilot and we'll see how it goes and this looks like it's gonna be parts for the head right here and you're going to have runner M1, N2. Uh, so obviously this just being an extension of that. And then M1 down here, uh, you are going to have just some parts for the front skirts. So it looks like it's going to be parts for the backpack. Uh, definitely the barrel for the rifle and just some other inner frame parts, which I'm pretty sure this is all equating to the actual shoulders and the uh, hips. Runners 0102, which is going to be parts for the shield. Uh, looks like it's going to be parts for the magnum right here for those eyes, which is super damn cool. Uh, you got the faceplate right there, and then you're also going to have the funnels. Some of the good old Gundam Age hands. Beam rifles. Beam effect parts, both long and I guess kind of like daggers. Standard polycap sheet. And here are going to be some stickers for the eyes, and it looks like it's going to be for the, uh, the head camera as well. And you are going to have some reflective stickers right here, so you can put these underneath the actual green parts, and it's going to kind of light up uh, those green parts a little bit more. And all... And your marking sticker sheet. So uh, much like the Dynamis, these are probably going to be at least halfway decent. I, I know some people aren't really for them, uh, but since I'm actually not painting this kit, this is this is fine with me. I'm not gonna go out of my way to get some water size for a straight build. So this is completely fine. Uh, maybe the white might not come off that well, but overall, I think all these are gonna be decent. 
and then just going really quick through the actual manual uh, everything looks pretty good um, I've already kind of brushed through it real quick uh, but yeah you're gonna have a lot of parts marked out right there with that X uh, so just expect a lot of leftover parts from the actual H2. Uh, but construction is going to be very much similar to the Gundam H2. I'm not really seeing uh, too much of a difference. And you're going to see all the little schematics and weapons and everything for this mobile suit. Uh, and just kind of skipping all the way to the back, we are going to see basically the end of the transformation right there. And you're also going to have where all the markings are going to go. And then on the side, you are going to have that beautiful painting guide and then the little pilot figure right there. So I'm going to try and work my, my, my best painting skills that way I can get as close to this as possible. But regardless, guys, definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Um, I don't really know when we get this kit done. It, it's kind of a lot, but it really looks like it's going to be the same as the Dynamis. Uh, so I'll try and get this kit done by Sunday night. And then I'll get that review out to you guys. Uh, if I do not, it could be as late as Monday. But regardless, uh, I'm going to be working on this kit all weekend. I don't really have too many plans. Maybe a little bit of Pokemon Go. But regardless, I'm going to get this kit out to you. And you can definitely make your judgment on if you really want to get this kit or not. But regardless, guys, definitely appreciate all of you for watching. And like always, rate, comment, subscribe. And make sure you're entering these contests when I, whenever I announce them. We got nine more contests to go so i'll be seeing you guys in the next video bye bye and a big thank you and shout out goes out to all my new memberships of this channel so definitely thank all of you guys and your contributions to this channel is definitely going to help